so a uh, few slides more uh, so uh, history and uh, physical examination get a urinary analysis i'm just giving you a broader uh, and simpler way to do it if the hemoglobin and rbcs are absent search for any cause of red urine if you don't analyze it shows hemoglobin rbcs are there but hemoglobin is not there check for rbc morphology and uh, think about going at the glomerular or the non glomerular cause uh, if they uh, there's no rbc and if there's only hemoglobin then uh, think about myoglobinuria or hemoglobinuria uh, that is one thing now this we have already discussed so i have just made it more easier uh, for you people to understand this is the same thing which i had done uh, discussed earlier this is the tabular form this again i have done in a tabular form which we have already discussed earlier so this you can just uh, maybe take a picture if you want to okay so uh, now for the asymptomatic isolated microscopic hematuria now a patient who comes with a microscopic hematuria and there are no symptoms at all so what things are you, how you are going to do what are you going to do so first thing is repeat urine analysis weekly for two weeks uh, and uh, no exercise for 48 hours if you find this persistent hematuria test the patient for hematuria if there is negative then you go with your hearing test ultrasound and x-ray kg to rule out any other cause if it comes out to be negative follow up the urine routine microscopy maybe after a week and see how the things are um, get a urine uh, calcium and a creatinine ratio and yearly urine routine microscopy examination along with the blood pressures should be done now management i am not going to go in discussions is the management according to the cause is the management uh, so treat cystitis spinal nephritis utis uh, along with, with the antibiotics uh, only the antibiotic of choice uh, i would suggest uh, to uh, start on with uh, basic augmentin first of all amoxicillin and wait for the culture reports and see what culture use and then maybe take the antibiotics if required so and uh, if the patient is admitted in the uh, hospital uh, uh, then you can basically start with the uh, septazone or ciprofloxacin whatever in your hospital uh, uh, antibiotic policies are uh, supportive treatment like diuretics uh, in cases of uh, you know chf fluid and salt restrictions if the child is hypertensive so start with antihypertensives uh, treat hyperkalemia in cases of arf uh, chf treat chf acidosis to be treated fluid overload to be uh, prevented and hypertension and its complications should be treated at any point of time and if you find that there is an autoimmune uh, disorder which has been diagnosed with ana ds dna and complement levels come on the then think about steroids and immunosuppressants like cyclophosphamide or azathioprine which nowadays people are using uh so uh, so these are the uh, surgical corrections can be done renal vein thrombosis anticoagulant therapies and thrombectomy may be needed which obviously the urologist does and uh, correct thrombocytopenia which we can do anemia coagulation factor deficiency should be treated and uh, uh, calculate obviously preventive water which you all uh, so thank you all